So let's start a little bit with um, this first one says, don't cherry pick a good line out of a negative review. So I want to talk about cherry picking in two ways. So the first one we're going to talk about here is snippets. So when I gave a presentation at Summit last time, uh, I got a lot of questions about snippets. So snippets are where you want to use a portion of the review in a different location. So what are some best practices? So the first really important thing about snippets is you need to make sure that whatever section you pull out of the review is um, representative of the whole review. So you see in this example, they actually weren't very happy with the product, um, but we pulled out one little snippet that kind of showed a different point of view. I would say the same thing is really important for social content. Let's say that somebody posts a piece of social content and the image is beautiful, but in the text, they're telling you they don't really like the product. You shouldn't just grab that image and stick it on your site, right? Because you are that is being misleading. Um, so when it comes to using snippets, uh, it's important to make sure that whatever text you're using is representative of the overall piece of content or if you're using a photo, that it's representative of the overall consumer experience. Um, the other best practice with snippets, if possible, it is not a requirement, but we recommend if you're using it in a digital manner, we recommend being able to click through to the final thing. So, for example, if you're using um, like a social post and you're using that image, make it so they can click back to the original social post. As I think everybody on this call is aware, we're seeing growing distrust about the Internet in general. Right. So the more transparent you are, the less opportunity you give consumers to sort of make up stories about what might be happening behind the scenes.